All right, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up your uh, SunToy Slow Solar Cooker. And you take it out of the bag. When you cut the top of the bag to open it, leave as much of the bag as you can, and you can reuse it. Take your cooking bag out, put it on top of your food pot, or near it, and watch how you unfold it. Don't have to force it. The top part I just unfolded uh, are the wings. They haven't been unfolded yet. They unfold accordion style and you situate them over the lower reflector panels. Now there's some slots in there that the tips of those wings set in. You see I put one in there. And to hold it in place from slipping back out, I've got some pencils. You can use sticks, twigs, clothespins, uh, long skinny rocks, you get the idea. In the Northwest, sticks work very well because you can find them anywhere. Um, I'm demonstrating this on a January day in Seattle, so I've got pencils. And put the other one in there. Lock it in place. See, it won't come back out now. And set that up. Try to situate it toward the sun. Now, a lot of times it's breezy, so you'll want to weight down the reflector with more than just the food, the weight of the food. And you can put rocks of any size in the corners there. Hold the reflector shape. Keep it from blowing away. You can put it on the outside. You can't quite see it, but there's a little ridge on the outside. You can weight that down as well. Real windy day, you can use stakes right through the uh, reflector. So get the cooking bag out. Next, you're going to put your food pot that's filled with your ingredients you're going to cook inside of the cooking bag. Uh, sometimes this is a little tricky because you've got things sloshing around in there. But you get it in there. And you get spacers. In this case it's PVC tubes. I do not cook with those. Again this is demonstration. The idea is you want an air gap on the bottom of the pot so the heat can get underneath it. Uh, you can put the spacers under the pot under the bag. It's a little better if you can do that inside the bag. It's just a lot harder to pull off. Uh, one by one pieces of wood work real well. I've used rocks and then uh, you can, can't see it, but I'm sticking my finger through a little triangular hole in the back of the reflector. There's another triangular hole in the front uh, reflector that's uh, in, in front of the pot. Either one, you can use the bag and just kind of work it through that hole and it keeps the bag sealed. You can use twist ties, but I always lose them, so I like that hole there, so I never have to worry about forgetting it. Put your pot in the, the front part of that, uh, situate it. Uh, aim it at the sun. That's what I'm pretending to do. Remember this is January in Seattle, not really any sun, but in some parts of the world 